Hello and welcome, travel enthusiasts. Today, we start an exciting five-day journey, immersing ourselves in the fascinating history and delectable cuisine of the stunning city of Vienna, Austria. This city, renowned for its opulence and artistic genius, entices a captivating fusion of imperial heritage and contemporary liveliness. From magnificent palaces and a world-famous music scene to sophisticated coffee houses and dynamic cultural happenings, Vienna guarantees an indelible experience for all who visit. So buckle up, it's time to explore. Our adventure begins in Vienna's heart, in your stad, known as the Old Town. This place is a UNESCO World Heritage Site with centuries of history in its intricate Baroque architecture. Our first stop is the majestic Hofburg Palace, the former principal imperial palace of the Habsburg Dynasty rulers. It's like stepping into a time machine, taking us back to the imperial days. Its diverse architectural styles from Gothic to Renaissance, reflects its historical evolution. For lunch, we are at Plachu, a famous Viennese restaurant serving a traditional dish, the Tafel Spitz, a boiled beef in broth with apples and horseradish. It's a dish with a royal history, Emperor Franz Josephi's favorite. After a hearty meal, we visit St. Stephen's Cathedral, Vienna's iconic landmark. With its tall, colorful, tiled roof and Gothic architecture, it stands as a symbol of Vienna's resistance and resilience throughout the ages. As the day concludes, we head to Greek and Beisel, one of Vienna's oldest restaurants. Frequented by famous personalities like Beethoven, this place offers an authentic Austrian culinary experience. Don't miss their Wiener Schnitzel. Day two, and we are visiting the museum's Cartier, a place that beautifully melds history and modernity. Our day starts at the Kunsthistorisches Museum, a treasure trove of artifacts from ancient Egyptian and Greek artifacts to an extensive collection of European paintings. It's like a crash course in art history. After a morning of historical exploration, it's time for lunch. We're at Glacis Beisel, a hidden gem, offering delicious traditional Viennese cuisine. Try their goulash, a Hungarian origins too with an Austrian influence. Our afternoon takes us to the Leopold Museum, home to one of the largest collections of modern Austrian art, including works from the Vienna Secession and Expressionism periods. As the sun sets, we wrap up with dinner at Café Leopold, located on the museum's Cartier premises. They serve a modern interpretation of traditional Austrian cuisine. Their baked demental cheese dumplings are a must try. Day three brings us to the magnificent Schambrun Palace and its surroundings. We start at Schambrun Palace, the former summer residence of the Habsburgs. This Baroque palace is a window into the opulent lifestyle of the monarchs. Before we explore more, let's stop for lunch at Café Residence, famous for their apple strudel show. Their Wiener Ross Brayton, a roasted beef dish, is a classic Viennese delicacy you must try. After lunch, it's time to visit the Chambrun Zoo, it's the world's oldest continuously operating zoo and reflects the Habsburgs' fascination with the exotic animals. We conclude day three with dinner at Plachuta Hietzing, a stone's throw from Schambrun Palace. Their traditional Austrian fare, 
like the creamy Kaiserschmarrn, will certainly hit the spot. Day four is all about Belvedere Palace and its surroundings. We start at Belvedere Palace, a stunning example of Baroque architecture. Not only is the palace a marvel, but it's also home to Austrian art from the Middle Ages to the present day, including Gustav Klimt's The Kiss. In the afternoon, for lunch, we're heading to Hüriger Wieninger, a traditional Viennese wine tavern. Enjoy a platter of Austrian cold cuts paired with their homegrown wine. After lunch, we're visiting the Austrian Military Museum, the leading museum of the Austrian Armed Forces. It provides insights into Austria's military history, with exhibits from the 16th century to World War II. As the night falls, we head to the historic Zumschwarz and Camille for dinner, serving Viennese cuisine since 1618. Their classic Tafel Spitz is a must try. On our final day, we're off to the fun filled Prater area. We will start our day at the Inner Prater, a large public park known for the iconic Wiener Riesenrad Ferris wheel. Its construction dates back to the Austro-Hungarian Empire, and a ride provides a stunning view of the city. Lunch is at Schweitzer House, a well-known beer garden serving traditional Viennese cuisine. Their pork knuckle is legendary, pairing perfectly with local beer. Our afternoon takes us to Madame Tussauds Vienna, here, We'll meet lifelike wax figures of famous personalities, both Austrian and international. As we conclude our journey, we celebrate with dinner at Skopik and Lawn, offering traditional Viennese cuisine. Their beef tartare is a must try. Now, if you have an extra day and are up for a short trip, I'd highly recommend visiting Salzburg. It's about a 2.5 hour train ride from Vienna, but it's well worth the journey. Nestled amidst majestic alpine landscapes, Salzburg, Austria, captivates visitors with its enchanting beauty and musical heritage. Known as the birthplace of Mozart and the setting for the sound of music, this charming city offers a delightful blend of history, art, and breathtaking views. Our first stop is the beautiful Mirabelle Palace and Gardens. You might recognize them from the classic film The Sound of Music. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is known for its spectacular Baroque architecture and lush gardens. After exploring Mirabelle, it's time for lunch at Gas House Swedler's. This traditional Austrian restaurant offers delicious fare. The Salzburger Knackerl, a sweet souffle, is a must try. Next, we're off to Hohen Salzburg Fortress. Perched on a hill, this 11th century fortress offers panoramic views of Salzburg and beyond. The fortress also houses a museum that provides insight into its history. Our final stop in Salzburg is none other than the birthplace of Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Now a museum, it offers a glimpse into the early life of this musical prodigy. As we head back to Vienna, we conclude our bonus day, filled with Salzburg's music, history, and charm. Let's explore the best time to visit this captivating city, where a rich tapestry of experience is awaits. Vienna offers something extraordinary for every season. During spring, temperatures are pleasant, making it ideal for sightseeing. The city is in full bloom, especially the public parks and gardens like the Stadt Park and Belvedere Gardens which showcase many colorful flowers. 
In summer, if you don't mind the crowds and slightly higher temperatures, this can be an excellent time to visit Vienna. The city is buzzing with festivals, open-air concerts, and a vibrant nightlife scene. A special highlight is the Music Film Festival on City Hall Square in July and August. Autumn is also a good time to visit Vienna, with fewer crowds and mild temperatures. The changing colors of leaves in the city's parks and vineyards offer a picturesque view. In winter, Vienna is well known for its magical Christmas markets, which usually start in late November. If you're a fan of these, or if you're interested in attending the Vienna Ball season that typically begins in November and reaches its peak in January and February, winter can be a good time to visit. However, remember that it can get quite cold. Remember that Vienna's cultural calendar is packed year-round, with events ranging from opera, ballet, and concerts to food festivals and historical commemorations. So no matter when you visit, something interesting always happens. Now, Let's go over some essential tips to enhance your trip. Vienna has a moderate climate, but it can be unpredictable. Pack a mix of warm and cool clothing, an umbrella, and comfortable walking shoes for exploring the city. Consider purchasing the Vienna car, which provides free travel on Vienna's public transport and discounts at many museums, attractions, and restaurants. While many people in the inner speak English, especially in tourist areas, it wouldn't hurt to learn a few basic German phrases. Austria uses the euro. Credit cards are widely accepted, but carrying some cash for smaller businesses and market stalls is a good idea. In Vienna, tipping is customary. Usually, a tip of around 10% of the bill is appreciated in restaurants, round up to the nearest euro in taxes, and for hotel staff, a few euros would suffice. Keep an eye on the opening hours of attractions. Some museums close one day a week, which can vary by place. Austrian cuisine is rich and hearty. Vegetarian options may be a bit limited but they are becoming more common. If you have specific dietary requirements, it might be beneficial to learn how to express this in German. Make reservations for popular restaurants and check if advanced tickets can be purchased for busy attractions. It will save time waiting in lines. Many historical sites offer guided tours, and I recommend opting for these where possible. The insights you'll get from a knowledgeable guide can greatly enhance your understanding of what you see. Austrians are generally law-abiding people, and they appreciate it when visitors are too. For instance, jaywalking is frowned upon. Be sure to follow the local laws and customs. While photography is usually allowed in public areas and tourist sites, be respectful. In some museums or art galleries, photography might be restricted. Getting travel insurance is always a good idea. Ensure it covers any health issues, travel cancellations or delays, and loss or theft of property. Remember, these tips are as important as the itinerary to ensure a smooth and memorable travel experience. Let's delve into an intriguing but less recognized aspect of Vienna. The city, famous for its magnificent ball culture with over 450 balls hosted annually, also celebrates a unique event known as the Confectioner's Ball. Orchestrated by Vienna's Guild of Confectioners, this event is a paradise for those with a sweet tooth. A key attraction of this ball is the Mel Spice Buffet, an impressive spread of traditional Austrian sweets, pastries, 
and desserts meticulously crafted by Vienna's top confectioners. From the quintessential Viennese Sacker Torte to elaborate sugar sculptures, it's a delightful fusion of Vienna's love for opulent balls and irresistible sweets. Vienna has a charm that will leave you spellbound and a culinary scene that's hard to resist. So, pack your bags and let Vienna take you on an unforgettable journey. That's it for today. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on our upcoming travel itineraries for different cities. Comment below to let us know where you want to go next. Remember, life is an adventure, and we're here to make it extraordinary. Happy travels!